my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another reading for you guys. This is going to be a pick a card reading. Uh, the specific message here is why they aren't communicating. Why are they not communicating with us? Um, this is for those of you guys that are wanting to get a little more insight, a little bit more of understanding of the reasoning behind why the partner, the person of your interest, or uh, that person that currently has your attention, why they're not communicating. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes. Go ahead and listen to your intuition. Tune in to that energy and see where you're being pulled. So from my um, left to right, we have set number one here with the shell card, uh, with the shell cards. Set number two with the elephant, the golden elephant. Set number three, the arrow of love. And set number four, the feather. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes so you guys can tune into that energy and see where you're being pulled towards and we'll get right into the reading. Okay. All right, so we're going to proceed with the reading. Like I said, from my left to the right, we have set number one, set number two, set number three, set number four, and um, let's get into it, okay? So I'm going to pull these a bit back so we can start with set number one, which is the shell. Okay, give me one second. Not sure if that makes it a little better. All right, so let's get right into set number one, which is the shell. I'm going to put the shell right here. Well, right here. So you guys can see that. Okay, we'll leave it there. All right, so let's get into this. For those of you guys that chose uh, set number one with the shell, we have the three of wands, the judgment card, the five of cups, all right, and the energies of the person of your interest is the page of cups, the knight of pentacles, and the empress card, okay. So what they're saying here is that for some of you guys, you may be dealing for, uh, with a long distance relationship. For others of you, perhaps there was some type of ending, uh, some type of conclusion. Um, so what they're saying here is I feel that for the majority of you guys that chose this set, uh, distance is something of that's currently influencing the situation. And with the page of cups it does uh it does show that the person does think of you or constantly think of you with the knight of pentacles though there may be a bit it may take a while for them to actually want to reach out um again they're telling me time is very time and distance is something that is playing a major role in this connection with the five of cups you may have been feeling like they uh, completely disappeared. Um, they've put some distance between the relationship. It could have been that the partner moved away. It could be that they are away on deployment. For others of you, it could symbolize that they either moved uh, where they were currently from to another city, perhaps. Um, they're showing me distance here. So again, I think uh, distance is something that is playing a major key role in this situation. Now, with the Knight of Pentacles, you may be dealing with Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For some of you, you may be dealing with the Libra or Water Energy as well, uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. But right at the center, we have the Judgment card. So this is telling me that there was a decision that had to be made, perhaps a decision they didn't want to make, uh, because there was going to be some distance or some type of travel involved. 
and perhaps they decided to either create distance between you or even end the relationship because they were ultimately looking out for you. This is more to do with them not wanting to hurt you or not wanting to let you down. They didn't want to create some type of disappointment. Um, so again, I feel that uh, for some of you guys, it could have been that they just, you know, slowly, progressively started pulling away from you until it got to the point of no communication. And it could have been because perhaps they do have feelings for you. They do care for you. Um, but I think that in this connection, someone is much more interested or emotionally invested in the relationship than the other. And it could have been them feeling like they didn't really want to hurt you because they do value you. They do see you as a person of value, a person that, you know, a genuine good person. And they do have, you know, um, some type of admiration for you with the Empress card here. Um, they see you, you know, there, there could be a lot of like emotional attraction, not emotional, sorry, physical attraction. Um, but I think that more than anything, there is some, there's something about you that they highly respect or admire, and they didn't want to either, uh, continue with this connection because they felt that perhaps you were getting a little bit, um, having stronger feelings than, than they were. And perhaps they felt like they made a decision where they didn't want to further the connection because they felt like they didn't want to let you down or they didn't want to hurt you. Um, so ultimately, yes, it could be a bit difficult for you to get through this process um, because I see you guys like really wanting to know what went wrong or what is it that you did that pushed them away. And what they're telling you here is ultimately it had nothing to do with you. It has more to do with the fact that they're just not ready. And it could also represent that they're still not over an ex-partner, a person that they were dealing with in the past. Now, the next card here is children. Your, lo uh, your love life is being affected by children. So it could have been, for some of you guys, it could have been that children were involved in this connection. It could have been that perhaps they have children with a previous partner, and they're still trying to figure out uh, either how to deal with that situation, it could be co-parenting, it could be that um, the mother figure could be very much involved, um, or perhaps they haven't moved on from, from this person that you were interested in, and they're probably trying to protect you or keep you away from that type of drama. Um, so again, that could be one of the reasons. Now, your next card here is New Moon in Aries. It's time to take action and a time for healing, which is balsamic moon. Okay, so I think that there may be some type of communication or them reaching out to you around the month um, of April, which is, I believe that's airy season. Um, so again, I feel that it's taken a while. Perhaps some of you guys are still dealing with this, um, but what Spirit is telling you is that they may currently be going through a healing phase. And that could be the reason why the past is still linked or connected to them because they're still trying to uh, find that balance um, as well as, you know, heal themselves from being able to connect with other people on a, an emotional level. So it could be that they still have feelings for their ex um, or their priority at the present could be children. Or this could be something that you're dealing with that, uh, you may have children and you may be dealing with an ex or the father figure or mother figure. Um, and that could have played some type of role in the creation of this distancing of the relationship. Uh, nonetheless, I do see some type of communication. But what Spirit is telling you is that in the present time, don't put all your eggs in that basket because there's a lot of healing that needs to happen. Okay? And this is not just on your side, but this could be on their side as well. All right. All right. Let's get into the next reading. All right. So we're going to do set number two, which is the gold elephant. All 
All right, so we have the Three of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. All right. Heavy energy, you guys. Okay. All right. Oh, we're missing one. There we go. Seven of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Wow. Eight of Cups. All right. So those of you guys that uh, chose set number two, um, I feel that the current situation, there was some type of third party involved as we do have the Three of Swords here. And we also have the Three of Swords over here. So I think that on both on both sides, uh, what they're saying here is that someone definitely stepped out of the relationship or they were dealing with a third party type of situation. Now, your cards represent getting to the point of feeling where you're tired or you were ready to let go or ready to give up on the relationship because perhaps you felt like they weren't giving you the commitment or giving you the stability that you were looking for. And it, this could be a uh, very flighty type of energy where you guys kind of break up, make up, break up, make up, that type of scenario. Um, but with the nine of wands, there was, I feel that there was a lot of stress. There was a lot of things that perhaps you forgave um, or were very compassionate towards. And you have a tendency of creating um, I don't want to say excuses, but you always found reasoning behind the actions of your partner, the person of your interest, and it was almost like you were making up excuses for their behavior um, until it got to the point where you really felt like you were about to give up or you were tired of this situation. Um, and this could have been you either going out of your way to try to figure out exactly what was going on. Um, or it could have been that other people, friends, relatives, people around you were giving you information about what they were doing, or I should say what they shouldn't be doing. Now, we also do have here the Seven of Pentacles. So this is telling me that there is a desire to want to revisit this relationship or this connection. Um, it could have been that perhaps in the past, uh, this person was, you know, cheated on um, or perhaps taken for granted. And it created this wall around them. And it's kind of like before they hurt me, I'm going to hurt them. Or before they let me down, I'm not going to get that emotionally invested uh, to the point of allowing someone to hurt me. Um, so I think that they took the immature route. Um, and again, what Spirit is saying is this is not an excuse for their behavior. We all make choices. And, you know, we all go through situations where, unfortunately, sometimes we end up getting hurt. And you have the decision to either learn from that situation so that you're less gullible, uh, less innocent, um, and makes you mature. Or uh, you take the route of being the one to hurt instead of you being or allowing others to hurt you. And I think that was their case. So what Spirit is telling you is, on both spectrums, I think both of you guys have been hurt. There's a lot of healing that needs to happen. Um, but you, on the other hand, um, have put effort and energy in trying to fix this connection. And they kind of just left you out in the cold because I do have the Three of Swords with the Eight of Cups. They completely walked away or gave up on the situation and didn't even want to deal with it. Uh, for some of you guys, it could have been that they just, you know, they could have communicated with you even through text, like breaking up their text or something like that, um, or not wanting to face you, not wanting to give you any type of uh, clarity into what was going on. Um, so what Spirit is telling you here is ultimately the decision lies on you when it comes to wanting to hold on to, you know, uh, going through a situation where there's an ending or a conclusion. And I think there's a bit of resistance there because you're wanting to know exactly what happened. For some of you guys, you're wanting answers. Uh, but what Spirit is telling you is even waiting for someone to give you some type of explanation, you're giving up your power. You're allowing them um, 
to pretty much have control over your emotions. And unfortunately, sometimes people will not give you explanations. And if you sit there and wait for that person to reach out or to come back around and try to clarify what caused them to step away from this connection, you're in retrospect, uh, in retrospect, you're giving yourself a disservice uh, because you deserve more than that. So what Spirit is telling you is take this time to heal. Uh, go through the emotions. Don't ignore them. Acknowledge them. Uh, allow them to help you heal through this process. And sometimes even, uh, even having anger or having some type of feelings of animosity uh, ignite the passion within you to become stronger, to keep going and moving forward. And I think that that's the case for you. Um, so ultimately, will they be contacting you? Um, I feel that they are going to be contacting you because we do have in his cards the Seven of Pentacles. And that's going back to the past. Um, with the Three of Swords, you know, the hurt, the, the, the feeling of being betrayed. Um, but it's almost, if you guys can see here, we have three swords, right? And this, where is it? This sword has it's like going through a rose and i feel that what they're trying to tell you here is yes this person will be communicating with you but ultimately do you want a person that has already let you down are you willing to give them access to your heart again and give them the power to hurt it again um it's almost as if what this card is saying is they've hurt you i've hurt you i've you know betrayed you and although i'm coming back around you know ultimately i'm coming back around to see if you will allow me um access to your heart even though it's been bruised or it's been stabbed or it's been mistreated so this is more to me speaking to me more about self-love and what they're telling you is love yourself enough, know your worth, know your worth, love yourself enough to walk away from what's not serving you, from for what's not working for you anymore, and walk towards a new beginning, walk towards the, that conclusion that it has already happened, and embrace it instead of trying to hold on uh, to the idea of what this person or who this person was, okay? All right, let's go into, oh, before, sorry, you guys, I'm over here trying to end <laughs> this reading. Okay, so your next card here is heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. I think that this has more to do with what you're expecting, what your expectancy is, and it's to, for them to come to you and to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and to talk about the feelings, talk about what happened, why didn't it, why did it get to this point? But again, I think that the message is clear here when they're telling you to not resist the changes, but to embrace them and to not allow people to continuously keep stabbing at your heart or to continuously keep taking you for granted. Um, because the more access you give them to you, uh, the more less they have to put work and effort uh, to keep you satisfied or to keep you there. Now, your next two cards is expect powerful change, new moon eclipse, and don't let your past hold you back, south node. So I think here, changes always come with conclusions. It's like it comes hand in hand. With a new moon, there's a new beginning. You need to embrace this new beginning and also release the past and don't allow it to hold you back don't allow it don't allow yourself to put yourself in like to pause you know to pause your life for that person until they make up their mind um know your worth and know that you deserve much more better than that and the only time in this life is that in this life i should say is that time is unforgiving and if you sit there and wait for someone to make up their mind or to want to come back around you're just allowing them to live their life, to have more options. And when it doesn't work out the way they want to, then they're quickly to come back and to want to 
uh, have that emotional support. Um, but ultimately, when it comes to relationships, they it, it's kind of a mirror effect where they should be your peace and ultimately you be their peace. You be their emotional support when they're there to be your emotional support as well. So basically, don't allow them to put you in a situation where you feel uh, like they're only coming back around because things or their plans didn't fall into place the way they want it. All right, my lovelies, let's get on with set number three, Arrows of Love. All righty, let's see. Here we go. All right, your first card here is the Hanged Man, the Star card, whoops, and the five, the five of wands. Then we have the page of wands, the six of swords, and the emperor. All right, so for those of you guys that chose set number three with the arrow, you're currently feeling like you're in suspension, like time has completely paused. You're hoping and wishing to get some type of communication, some type of clarity, or getting your answers or getting your prayers answered. With the five of wands, this speaks a lot about inner struggles that you're currently going through. Uh, for some of you guys, it could have been that you experienced a connection where they brought out perhaps feelings that you have never experienced, like jealousy, wanting to be overprotected, smothering the person, uh, that type of energy. And it had more to do with, again, like I said, inner struggles that you're currently going through, uh, cuts and wounds that you have yet to heal from past experiences. Um, I think that in this connection for the majority of you guys, you guys were really emotionally invested in this situation. For some of you guys, it could have been a situation where it got to the point where there was constant fights and arguments. Um, now the, the cards that are representing the partner, the person of your interest is the page of wands. So I see them like they pulled away from the situation because they wanted to move on. They wanted to move on away from feeling stuck or feeling like there was constant battle, like there was a constant battle. It could have been that communication was not very clear. Um, and they're just like, you know what? I'm tired of this. I'm not going to deal with this. And I'm just going to walk away from this. Uh, for some of you guys, it could have been a person that just hadn't been in a serious relationship for quite a while now. So they really have very little to no patience uh, when it comes to relationships. And for some, it could have been like dealing with an energy, a very immature type of energy where they're very quick to, and hasty to make decisions. It's almost like I can hear them saying like, well, this is how I am, like take it or leave it. Um, that type of self-entitlement. And I think that both of you guys were on very different wavelengths. With the Six of Swords, I see them moving on, um, you know, moving on or emotionally disconnecting from this situation with the Emperor card. There's a lot of structure that needs to happen in their life. So I think one of the reasons why they walked away and why there's no communication is because they're trying to work on themselves. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you were dealing with, like I said, a very immature type of energy where something happened in this in in this situation um it could have been family responsibilities it could have been that they just you know decided that they wanted to have more structure more stability in their life perhaps for some of you guys you guys were even dealing with like uh what's that word um a daddy's girl or a mama's boy type of energy where they were extremely like extremely irresponsible because that's how they were raised like whoever was raising them whether it was the dad or the mother like they went above and beyond and didn't really let them become a woman or a man um and i think that they kind of got tired of that 
So they're working on themselves and trying to bring structure, trying to bring some type of balance into their life. Um, for those of you guys that perhaps, you know, this person was like they went from one job to another. Um, I see them really putting effort in trying to find like a stable job and trying to find stability uh, more than anything. Or I should say what they're trying to do is they're trying to find a purpose for being. Um, and I think that their energy and effort is going to go towards anything that has to do with, with, um, with a job, with a career, with finances, that type of energy. Um, to be completely honest with you guys, I don't think that this was a very, this is not necessarily a good energy for you guys because I see them more being a bit more narcissistic in the sense about it's about me. And it's time for me to get my shit together. And that could be a good thing. But I think that they're in, in their men, in their mind, in their mentality, you don't come out as a priority. So even if they were to come back around and try to communicate with you, keep in mind that they're not looking for something long term, regardless of what they tell you or regardless of what they're promising. Now, the next card here is keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So yeah, what they're saying here is definitely that this person is just, even if you felt a deep connection, I think that this person was not necessarily for you. And I don't think that even having another shot at this relationship, I don't think you guys would be able to work it out because I see you guys on two completely different, just completely different pages. Um, so what Spirit is telling you is don't force yourself uh, to wait for this person or don't force yourself to let other opportunities pass you by because you're stuck emotionally on this person. Finally, your last cards is Surrender to the Divine, Full Moon, and What Do You Need to Release, Waning Moon. So these are two completely different energies. Surrender to the Divine is all about having trust having faith, as well as it goes hand in hand with keep an open mind, surrendering to the energies of what's happening, what's unfolding before you, not resisting it. The more we resist it, the more difficult it becomes. Um, and when you embrace change or when you embrace, you know what, it didn't work out with this person. Um, I'm going to embrace this ending because I know that with endings come new beginnings. When you start to think positively, then you're putting yourself in a position of positive vibration mirroring back to you. Um, and with what do you need to release with the waning moon uh, speaks a lot about, speaks a lot about getting to the point right after the full moon where we kind of detox ourselves or we release things that are no longer necessary, uh, circumstances, situations, as well as people. And I think that for those of you guys that chose set number three, uh, there's a lot of release that needs to happen. So stop resisting. Stop trying to hold on to the situation. I think the more you try to hold on to the situation, the more difficult you make it for yourself. And the more you're emotionally stuck feeling like you have no control over your life. I hope that makes sense. All right, my lovelies. Let's go to set number four. Finally, set number four with the with the feather. Those of you guys that chose the feather. All right, we have the Devil card, the Nine of Cups, the Devil card, the Three of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups, okay? The Hanged Man, the Page of Pentacles, and the Chariot card. All right, so for those of you guys that chose set number four, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with the Pisces energy. For others, you may be dealing with a Capricorn, as we do have the Devil here. Um, as well as a Cancer energy or water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So right at the center, 
Um, we have the three of pentacles here. So this is speaking to me about outsiders, uh, people currently influencing either your partner or influencing you. Uh, with the page of pentacles, there was a message that perhaps was misconstrued, uh, misunderstood. Uh, for some of you guys, it could have been that there was like a communication mishap um, or perhaps you were trying to express something to your partner or your partner was trying to express something to you and it was just taken completely out of proportion or it was taken out of context where someone in this connection didn't want to bother or even put the energy in trying to explain it because I see them very like upset or pissed. Um, and they were very quick to, to shun you off or you were very quick to shun them off. Now, for others of you, this could symbolize that there was some type of communication um, that was found out. So this could have been like catching your partner communicating with someone through Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, anything on social media. Um, and very quick to jump to conclusions or very quick to judge um why didn't you tell me why weren't you honest why didn't you tell me you were talking to people that type of energy and i feel them like feeling like they were caught so instead of giving an explanation they were like you know what i'm done with this and they just completely like either blocked you or they didn't want to talk to you anymore or they just didn't want to give any type of explanation um with the devil card and the hanged man i feel that this is very like this is a person that is usually used to getting what they want um, without putting a lot of effort into anything really. Uh, it could be that they're very good with the way they express themselves. Like they are very good at sweetening up <laughs> their partner type of energy. And I feel that based on this situation, like they were completely dismissive. Someone dismissed someone's emotions or feelings here. Um, with the nine of cups, I feel that there is a lot of hope, um, or like you praying or wishing that this person would communicate to you, would open up, um, would reciprocate, you know, the, the work and effort that you're willing or have been willing to put in the relationship. But when the hanged man, I see them stuck. I see them like they're either waiting to see if you're the one that reaches out or they're waiting for the anger to go away. Um, with the Page of Pentacles, I do see them communicating, but I see them communicating in quite a bit. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you hear from them within the next three weeks. For others of you, you could be hearing from them at the end of the month of April. Um, and with the Chariot card, I feel that they're feeling like they're wanting to put effort in the relationship only because they want to know if you're willing to take them back. So I think that they're coming not from a good place, but more like, if you allow me to come back into your life, I'll come back into your life. Um, just until I get another opportunity or just until I get another option, if that makes sense. Um, so be careful with that, you guys. My suggestion for you is, yeah, see, that's the type of vibe I was getting. Playfulness, right? To recapture uh, romance, allow your inner youthful spirit a fun to shine. But I feel that player is, is the word that was coming to mind. It's almost like they'll come back into your life if you, if you allow them to, if you give them that chance. But it's not like they're going to want something serious or like anything serious is going to come from this because I see them like looking, even if they're there, I see them like looking for other options or to talk to other people, that type of energy. So it's not necessarily an er energy that I would advise for you guys to embrace. Now your final card is take time to breathe out disseminate, uh, what is it? Disseminating moon and be bold and make the first move cardinal moon. So we have two very contrast different moons here. And I feel that for those of you guys that chose set number four, it's like your personalities clash a lot. And it could be because you guys are complete opposites. 
Some, one of you guys is the night and the other is the sun. One of you guys is darkness and the other is light. Um, and sometimes, you know, opposites do attract, but I feel that they're not coming from a good place. I feel that this is a person that is not wanting something stable. Uh, this is a person that perhaps is moved or motivated by their desires or their sexual needs with the devil card. Uh, next to the three of pentacles, this speaks to me about a person that is very used to stepping out of their relationships or cheating um, or dealing with multiple people at the same time. So again, take time to breathe out, um, process the situation best you can, um, but also be bold and make the first move in regards to moving on or in regards to uh, stepping away from this connection or this relationship. Um, you know, sometimes it doesn't take a lot for a person to give up. Um, sometimes it's most comfortable to do that uh, when it comes to relationships. And the person that is genuinely the strongest is the person that is willing to uh, take the good and the bad and work through it, you know. And if that's something that you've been doing for quite a while, I think that it's time you embrace a new beginning and be bold enough and be strong to move on from uh, someone that is not going to give you any type of stability and is going to continuously put you in situations where you feel like you have to wonder what you mean to them. Um, there's a lot of confusion in this reading, so I think that uh, it could have been a person that likes to work or play off of your emotions, like they're hot and they're cold, uh, they pull away and then they come back around, that type of energy. So again, I think balance is something that is very important and fundamental in this connection, starting with you. So I think that if this person brings a lot of chaotic energy or a lot of inconsistencies, keep yourself from the heartache and the headache and walk away from this connection. Um, don't allow people to let them think that they could walk all over you or that they can lie and deceive you. Um, listen to your intuition, pay close attention to the red flags, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. I hope they give you some type of insight, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge, and we will be seeing each other soon. Till then, talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>